unique materials available at EssentialArtProducts.com. The products we will be working with today are the Carve Magic printing plate made from two sheets of latex-free rubber, rubber, white laminated to black, and after carving the white area, you reveal the black area. The white area becomes their positive space and the black becomes the negative space. We also have the quick release lino cutter handle. You simply push up on the chuck and insert a new cutter. And it also has a nice storage space that comes that you can take out from the back of the handle and snap back in. It holds up to six cutters. The metal inking plate and bench hook plate has a hook design to fit on a table or desk edge. Snap out soft rubber brayer is latex free and the snap out design makes it easy to clean. Hard rubber brayer, this is also a snap out brayer and it is also latex free. And finally, block printing paper, which is acid free and neutral pH. And it can also be used with any water or oil based ink. Now we will begin with a quick demonstration of our products. As you can see, I've already completed a drawing on the Carve Magic plate, and I'll continue carving my plate using my quick release lino cutter handle. I have a number two V gouge cutter in here. This plate carves much easier than standard linoleum, and is able to render very fine lines, different textures, just like you would get from linoleum. However, as I mentioned, it's already, it's easier to cut into. You can incorporate as little or as much texture as you'd like while carving. Because it's a rubber plate, it does not move around while you're trying to cut. It'll work on any surface, wood, plastic, whatever type of top you're working on. I've placed this in a uh, bench hook plate. Some people just are used to working that way and they're more comfortable. You can get very detailed lines and go as deep or as shallow as you like in your plate. And this is um, great is great to demonstrate positive and negative image space to students as, while you're removing the white layer, you reveal your black layer underneath. So it makes it a great plate to use for reduction printing as well. Now we'll continue by inking a plate that I've previously cut out. Okay, we'll begin by putting some ink onto our metal inking plate. Today I'm using a water-based ink. We'll start by taking our soft rubber brayer and rolling it horizontally and vertically across the inking plate just so we can get an even coat on the roller. You don't need to apply any pressure with these brayers when you're rolling them. They roll very smoothly. I prefer using a soft rubber brayer when I'm applying ink onto um, thicker printmaking plates. If it's a thinner plate, like for foam, I'll use a hard rubber brayer. We have a pretty good coat on there. Now I'll spread the ink out onto the Carve Magic plate. And again, it works, it works best if you don't apply. You apply just very, very light or minimal pressure. And just roll it evenly out onto Onto the printing plate. And 
And once you get it covered, you simply take a clean sheet of black printing paint, paper, apply it over the print plate. And then I like to use my hands and just simply spread over the plate first. And then I take a hard rubber brayer to finish rolling out my print. And I usually apply a moderate pressure to this just so I can make sure all the ink lays down on, on the paper. Make sure you get all the corners and the edges. And of course across the center. Then you take the bottom two corners and you pull the paper up slowly and evenly to reveal your final print. Thank you. This completes our demonstration. For further information on these products, please visit us at Essential.